Vitamin D reduces COVID-19 deaths by 60%. A study has found, as MP David Davis today called for the therapy to be rolled out in hospitals immediately to save many thousands of lives. The study evaluated the effectiveness of calcifediol, a vitamin D3, on more than 550 people admitted to the COVID-19 wards of the Hospital Del Mar in Barcelona, Spain. Subjects were randomly assigned as either recipients of the calcifediol treatment or as controls on admission before receiving five doses of the vitamin in increasing intervals of 2, 4, 8, and 15 days. The research, published by the Social Science Research Network, found COVID-19 patients given doses of vitamin D were 80% less likely to require ICU treatment. Those from the University of Barcelona also concluded that adjusted results showed a reduced mortality of more than 60% for those who were given the calcifediol treatment. Former Brexit Secretary David Davis today hailed the findings as a very important study, adding, the findings of this large and well-conducted study should result in this therapy being administered to every COVID patient in every hospital in the temperate latitudes. He said, furthermore, since the study demonstrates that the clear relationship between vitamin D and COVID mortality is causal, the UK government should increase the dose and availability of free vitamin D to all the vulnerable groups. These approaches will save many thousands of lives. They are overdue and should be started immediately. The research, which is preliminary and not yet peer-reviewed, found 36 of the 551 patients treated with calcifediol died from COVID-19 compared to 57 patients out of 379 in the control group. Elsewhere, researchers found only 5% of the calcifediol group were admitted to the ICU. The study said, in this open randomized study conducted during the first European outbreak of the deadly COVID-19 pandemic, we have observed that, in hospitalist COVID-19 patients, treatment with calcifediol reduced the requirement for critical care by more than 80 per center. This supports the conclusion of a prior pilot trial in Cordoba in which calcifediol treatment lead to a reduction of more than 50 percent of ICU admission in hospitalist COVID-19 patients. According to a World Health Organization study on respiratory tract infections, vitamin D deficiency may affect the immune system as vitamin D plays an immunomodulation role, enhancing innate immunity by upregulating the expression and secretion of antimicrobial peptides, which boosts mucosal defenses. Airborne illnesses such as coronavirus can get into the system via mucous membranes, eyes, nose, and mouth. Estelle hails the antibacterial and antimicrobial properties of D3 otherwise known as the sunshine vitamin. Darker skin tones have more difficulty obtaining the benefits of vitamin D, but slow-release adhesive skin patches provide 12 hours of continuous D3 supplementation, delivered directly into the bloodstream. The vitamin D shot is a safe treatment, vitamininjections.co.uk states. Rarely, however, vitamin D injections can lead to a number of side effects the most common of which are stomach discomfort and nausea. Earlier in the pandemic, it was revealed the link between vitamin D and coronavirus was being kept under review by Matt Hancock as studies began to suggest that having low levels of the vitamin heightened the risk of mortality.